Hello, dear ones. It's Alice, home of the stars. <laughs> and I'm here to talk a little bit about some repeating phrases I found in the unconscious thought cloud of the world. I might add more a little bit later, but here are two. Uh, there's the word, the phrase, root canal on that one. This, the origin of this phrase is a demon realm, and it has to do with the corruption of the kundalini energy by reversing the flow of the kundalini. Um, so, uh, root canal, what that means, well, you're talking about something that causes pain, right? And um, the, uh, the root chakra is the, the basal chakra, the one to do with death and, and uh, survival and so forth. And the root canal is the, the lower intestine, including the rectum. Okay. And uh, there is theory out there about the, um, the neurons that are in the lining of the intestine, which have to do with the um, unconscious nervous system, and the thought that those neurons hold the patterns of the unconscious thought cloud of the world. Okay, so when you say root canal on that one, one way of interpreting that has to do with the uh, programming during the, the long ages of darkness of the uncentralized uh, neurons of the gut. The gut is a very huge organ, by the way. By, um, so there are a lot of neurons there. So the uh, programming of those neurons with programs that decrease the light in the body of light. People don't like the idea of, of thinking of um, limitation in our freedom of sexual um, choices. But one like very physical interpretation of this uh, root canal on that one phrase has to do with the sexual practice of anal intercourse. I've talked about this before and it's not my intention to place moral strictures on people or cultural uh, mental filters on people or far be it from me religious beliefs on people but rather when I talk about sexual practices uh, I try to find out what will increase love in the world? What type of sexual practice increases love in the world? Okay, And so that has to do with the state of everyone's chakras when they're practicing sex, right? So um, one of the troubles with anal intercourse has to do with another um, oft-repeated phrase, which is I've referred to before as F dot 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 Y dot 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 in the A dot 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 and this phrase has come to mean in our society uh, to to injure someone else out of hatred and unfortunately it's a very graphic depiction of this act of of anal intercourse so somehow the lines have gotten crossed okay in, in the unconscious thought cloud of the world during the last age of darkness with regard to this sexual practice. That does not mean that it cannot be practiced with love. But when it is a practice in conjunction with that unconscious symbolism of hatred, then it creates uh, an uh, injury to the pranic tube that can be reversed by, through our own, like, positive affirmations and loving feelings towards our GI tract, okay? So, so if we get into that situation of having been injured through a sexual practice, the, the answer to that, um, to that 
trouble is always love because the universe is made of love. Okay? So we love the part that's injured. We love the wounding. And, and it becomes transformed and healed, both in ourselves and in other people. Now, uh, let's see. There's another phrase that's been coming up. Uh, it, it runs something like this, like, um, I'll take my credit card out on that one. Or, yeah, I think that's it. So, this has to do... You know, it's a very strange, like, emotion that's connected with this, uh, with this saying that keeps coming up on the internet. Uh, I think it has to do with materialism and greed. Yeah. Rather than, uh, it's a superficial heart feeling, so rather than feeling deeply into the heart, we look to fix things through credit card purchases, you know. We don't think about the future, about how we can balance the budget. We just think about getting uh, gratification right now, okay. And this is tied in with um, the notion of sex for pay, which is very prevalent uh, as a lower chakra visualization all over the world today, sex for pay. Uh, there is almost no one in the whole world that right now uh, understands the true nature of sexuality. And, and, and so the true nature of sexuality has to do with love and co-creation of reality. Okay, Love of the all and co-creation of reality. Not love of objects, which are all too perishable and transient but love of the process of change and transformation itself and respect for all beings that co-create reality, not just for the person that we're having sex with. Okay, But through the dark age though, that, that just passed, that whole idea got narrowed down to the notion of sex for pay. And... And everybody plays with that notion these days. Yeah, it can be, it could be pornography. You have to pay, right? Take your credit card out on that one, right? So you pay for this particular, like, pornography viewing session, I assume. And so that's one. And there's quite a wide gathering of people, mostly men, I guess, but also women, who, who, think of sex, per, um, sex for pay as their means of sexual expression. Then there's, um, you know, what you see on television all the time, there's sex workers and a, a, more, a, less, um, a less virtual, a more physical expression of, of taking my credit card out for that one. I don't really know much about that world, but I'm pretty sure it deals in cash rather than credit cards. <laughs> but So there you have mostly the notion of sex for, for pay and not taking the credit card out for that one. <laughs> I'll bet. What do I know? <laughs> and so um, then there's a notion of marriage, right? And that, that notion is... is it's a little more refined way of talking about sex for, for, for pay. Men look for a very good-looking woman, right? They want a steady, like, source of, of sex, just in case they can't find a, another source of sex in many cases. They're looking for a wife that will do, you know, for the dry times. And the woman is looking for someone who will support her children and, and uh, give her some sense of security with a home, right? The woman is looking for a home and a family. And so the guy, to provide these things to the woman, he has to take his credit card out on that one, right? And so this is another way of saying sex for pay. 
he gets the wife, she gets the credit card. I've looked all over. I haven't found anywhere uh, like a truth of the notion that we had in our youths that free love is, is a very good thing. I don't see it anywhere in the world today. Instead I see take my credit card out for that one and I see sex for pay. So what we have to do is transformational people. We have to start where it is. Where it is is right there. We have to align with that energy and then through loving acceptance allow that energy to transform into the new light. Okay. I know this is a difficult thing for women to do because they believe that they love freely, you know. And men, on the other hand, tend to have a much more uh, cynical notion about all that. So somehow or other we have to, we have to align with the men's notion in order to, to help them transform into this new energy that is now taking place. Uh, if you feel up to it, that would be a thing to do. I, I recognize that it's a very difficult thing. So. Another topic that's been coming up on the, on the uh, Claire level, audio level, uh, for a long time has to do with the master plan. It seems like everybody has a different master plan, and all of these master plans have to do with um, their own personal gain, you know, making a bunch of money on real estate, making a bunch of money through conning other people, making a bunch of money by marrying rich women and getting money from them, or marrying rich men and getting money from them, that kind of thing. All to do with, with a master plan for me personally so that I can be very powerful and very rich and get all the good best gratification of all my pleasures that I want, right? So this, this notion of, of, um, of power over uh, of other people, along with the other notions that I've discussed, the, um, the uh, sex for pay and the, the taking the credit card out for instant gratification without thinking about the future, for that matter, not aligning with my own soul purpose or the divine will. And the other idea of, of, the, of the root canal, of the dumbing down of the vast energy of our electromagnetic field. These are all to do with um, meta programs that the, that the demon realm has in place, okay? And the highest entities in the demon realm deal with the, um, the it's like playing of the energy in the eighth chakra and maybe even the ninth chakra above our heads. They, by playing of energy, what I mean is that the pranic energy is coming in to us from central sun from through the top of our head through the crown chakra before and it's what it is is a bunch of very finely tuned very intelligent beams of light very very tiny okay gazillion of them coming in and what the dark does is it misaligns or misqualifies or untunes certain of the the grand symphony that's coming in of light, that's coming in from the divine, it untunes little portions of it. It's like, if you can imagine a piano like the the um, the striking felt on the piano, if you open the inside of the piano, you can see where they're striking. And some are out of tune and they're, they're hitting a little late or slow or, or making the wrong sound because the wires are tuned wrong like that. It, it, imagine that kind of mechanism coming into the top of our heads in the shape of like a great um, dome of light in all little pinpricks of light coming in, right? And cer in certain places, once you become attuned to the eighth chakra, 
bow tie and untying that bow tie, you will begin to feel the influx of misqualified strands of light. Tiny, tiny little strands of light coming in that, that are saying the wrong thing to our bodies and creating these astral plays and these, these incredible stories that are so far from the truth of reality. So, on the lookout for the meta stories that are being manipulated around up here, you know, trying to find the threads that are uniting all humanity in these sorts of barbaric, like, thought, thought patterns. Those are three. Probably you'll find quite a few more on your own. <laughs>